In the last video, we learned how to add and visualize result layers. In this video, we will open a time series. We now want to have a closer look on the flow exchange between the network and the 2D overland model, as the animated result layer shows us that some nodes are flooded and the water level therefore exceeds the ground level. Within the ribbon results, you can find tools for creating time series. Select the tool TS from Map. As a file, choose the result file of the 1D network, but make sure that you take the result file from the coupled simulation. The group is Node, and we want to have a look on the item node discharge to surface. Click on OK. Now you can click on the flooded node to create the time series. With the plot we can see when the water level in the node exceeds the ground level and the node therefore discharges on the surface. The negative values show us when the water from the surface enters the network. Now put the time series plot next to the map view. The plot of the time series and the result layer are synchronized. Therefore, if you click on a time step on the time series, you can see that same time step on the result layer. Zoom in to the flooded nodes which we are looking on in the time series. You can see that the direction of the vectors also change according to our time series. Well, at this point, the node discharges on the surface. At this time step, the water enters the network through our node. 